welcome back to my channel mermaid nina here with another tips and tricks video about what you might ask well about rise of resistance of course ever since i came back from my trip my number one comment has been nina how do you get a rise of the resistance boarding group boarding pass well i'm here to tell you how you do that in fact i'm going to give you five tips and tricks of how to try to ensure that it actually works for you because unfortunately even though this process is extremely easy it can be very hit or miss so doing these tricks that i'm telling you might just push you over the edge a little bit to hopefully ensure that you too get a rise of the resistance boarding group boarding pass now, now before i start that for those of you who do not know what Rise of the Resistance is, please enjoy the video that I have playing right beside me right here. It is the newest Star Wars attraction experience right now over at Galaxy's Edge. They have one at both land and world, but in this video we are talking specifically about Disney World. So it's a very immersive experience and i use that word experience because it's not a coaster it is not just a ride you are very much fully immersed into almost like a star wars film like you are another jedi or soon to be jedi in training or something while you're in this experience you start off being part of the light side. Ray gives you an assignment along with BB-8. Oh, BB. And they take you through several kind of rooms or holding tanks before they get to the ride. Somehow you are captured by the dark side. That's right. Full on with Kylo Ren. And you need to somehow escape to go back to continue on your path and help out Ray. So you start in these holding tanks. They are very, very exciting and immersive and amazing. And make sure you watch the video. And then at the end, you are put into a ride vehicle. Of course, right now per COVID, it is one family per ride vehicle. Each ride vehicle has its own droid. It goes on its own little path on a trackless system so each experience can be a little different from the experience before and there are two totally different experiences where each vehicle might take you in a different direction causing you to see different things which is another reason why everyone wants this pass now for those of you like myself that have motion sickness i'm giving you a heads up the ride does kind of dash a little bit not like a teacup ride, but it just a kind of a quick little turn. That wasn't really an issue for me, but there is a drop, not a coaster drop, not a whoosh, but a tower of terror elevator straight up and down drop. You are only dropping one level or one floor and it is rather quick. It is seconds long, but I'm giving you the heads up. It is a whoop. So I do, you know, kind of cringe. I let it happen and then I, whew, okay, that's over kind of thing. But I have survived and I do consider myself to have the worst motion sickness ever. If you've been following me along on my previous videos, you will know more about that. The drop does happen towards the end of the ride, which is great for me because I can quickly get off. I can sit on a Star Wars rock and take some water and possibly a mint or some gum or something to kind of get my nerves back in check. It is an absolute fabulous ride and something everyone should experience. And this is why this boarding group boarding pass is so coveted. So I'm gonna show you how to get that done real quick as best I can. I am not at Disney right now, so obviously I can't show you the full thing. So you start by going on your phone. You wanna make sure you have the My Disney Experience app on your phone, and this is part of one of my tips, so I'm gonna say it later. You wanna make sure it's up to date. So you go on your phone and you click the Mickey. It takes you, oh, that was quick. It takes you through the Walt Disney World little screen. You go all the way down to Rise of the Resistance. 
It says Rise of the Re Star Wars Rise of the Resistance Request Access and Virtual Queue. There are two times that you can attempt this, 10 a.m. and 2 a.m. We will get to this a little bit in a few. And there are two buttons you can press, Join, Check Status. So obviously if you're trying to get a boarding group, you want to join. So you click Join, it takes you through this little kind of loading tank, and of course it's telling me right now they are now boarding groups 43 to 56, which is pretty good because it's 2 p.m. They're boarding groups 43 to 56, and it's telling me of course that all the boarding groups are gone for the day, which they are. But this is the process. So you just click that screen, whoop, and it takes you through what you need to do, almost like you're making a fast pass. You know, who wants to go on the ride and just join? You have to be quick with this. So that's how you do it. You're on your phone, that's what's going on. So here are my five tips. First one is you need to arrive on time. You need to be early. If you arrive at 10.05, you are late. You need to be early, you need to be on time. Now, they are not allowing lines of people to back up outside of the park, so it's not like it was before. You cannot arrive at 2 or 4 or 6 or 8 a.m. You need to arrive before park opening, so at least you get to sleep a little, unlike previous boarding times. So you want to make sure you are through the turnstiles, you have clicked your band, your tickets, 10 a.m. Now, right now, the park is kind of opening at 9 for some people on some dates and certain circumstances. So if you want to try to be in the park early, sure, get to the park at 9. See if they'll let you ride Mickey and Minnie's Railway. But make sure you are off and ready at 10 a.m. to click. Now, again, there's two times, 10 and 2. But I'm warning you right now, you want to try for that 10 a.m because the two is not necessarily guaranteed because the, as the day goes on, some groups, you might get a boarding group, but that doesn't ensure that you get to go on the ride. Rides break down, things happen, so you wanna aim for the earlier time slot because that is most likely gonna ensure that you're actually gonna physically get to ride the ride. So that's the first tip, arrive early, be on time. Depending on the transportation at your resort, especially if you're on the Skyliner right now, you need to take that into consideration. You just don't want to be late. Do what you got to do. Uber, Lyft, drive, whatever. We purposely stay at resorts where the transportation is easy, like at Yacht Club where you can just walk on over because it's less stress to worry about. But make sure you got your transportation all worked out. Tip Number two, you need to act fast. You need to be ready. You need to be refreshing your screen and you need to be on it. I'm talking starting at 9.50, you are staring at your phone, refresh, refresh, trying to get it to be all ready for 10 o'clock. 10.01, you are late. These passes are gone in seconds. The other thing you need to know that everyone who wants to ride this ride with you Grandma, grandpa, mom, brother, whoever, all need to be in the park. Checked in Magic Band tickets in the park. Not in the parking lot, not on the Skyliner. They need to be physically in the park, ready to go. They don't need to be staring, standing next to you. They just need to have gone through the turnstiles. Also, several people within one family or one party can try to get these passes at the same time. This kind of makes me nervous. I am afraid that Disney's gonna somehow figure that out and make me getting the pass a little bit harder to get. So I usually am the one who does it, but they do say that several members can try. And once you get through the screen where it's like thinking, everyone else exit out and let that one person who got to that screen sooner, let them finish it out. So that's tip number two. Tip number three, get off. Disney Wi-Fi, or better yet, don't even get on it to begin with. Disney Wi-Fi is slow, especially since everyone else in the park is also on it. So you wanna make sure you are on your own phone services data, not Disney Wi-Fi. Again, 
You want to be fast. You want to be quick. You want to be efficient to get this pass. Tip number four. This is what I sort of mentioned earlier. You want to make sure everything is updated. Your My Disney Experience app is already on your phone. It's at the most updated version. You want to make sure your phone is at its most updated version. Make sure there's no all of a sudden you're going to have to update your phone in the middle of all this. And you want to keep refreshing the app. You don't want to have it on your phone and then it's in your pocket and then you have to go through like the whole process of like re-logging in with your email and your password. So you want to keep on it and keep active on it to, to be fast. Tip number five. Once you've actually gotten a boarding group or boarding pass, it'll tell you, congratulations, you're boarding group number five or eight or 20 or whatever. You want to make sure you have turned on your push notifications. So often when you open up the app, it'll ask you, is it okay to turn on push notifications? Yes or no? Make sure you hit yes, because the last thing you want to do is gone through this whole process to get a boarding group. And then Disney was trying to alert you that it was time and you didn't know because it was in your pocket. You weren't checking your phone. You were on a different ride. I think to me that would be the worst thing is to actually have gotten this far and then you, you didn't know, you weren't alerted. So make sure you turn on those push notifications. Other tips just to know in differences from when this ride first came out and now is your boarding group is only good for an hour, one hour. It used to be good for two, now it's one. So previous in my other videos, you will see me waking up at 4 a.m., get in my boarding group, I go back to the room, I, I sleep a little bit more, I take a shower, I have breakfast, not a thing. You show up right in time, make sure you're in the park by 10, and then once your group is called, you have one hour. You can't really go anywhere, come and go throughout Disney within that time period. So you wanna make sure you are still in the park. You also wanna be mindful of, you know, okay, because you can check, remember, check status. You can check and say, okay, they're boarding groups 15 to 18 and I'm group number 20. Is this the best time to be eating a long meal? Probably not. So you wanna keep an eye on your status and make sure that you are 100% gonna make that boarding group. Again, you have one hour. If you go on to a ride, and not that I'm saying this is how long rides are right now, but if the long the line for the ride is two hours and you're at the edge of a boarding group, maybe not get on that ride. So just kind of pay attention to those few things. So those are my five tips. You wanna aim for the 10 o'clock slot. You wanna be fast, you wanna be quick, you wanna be updated, make sure everything is updated and good to go. And hopefully this will work for you. I have always successfully been able to get my boarding group. I'm hoping I can say that yet again here in a few weeks, but I'm hoping these tips and tricks um, help you out. I will say that if you don't get a boarding group, as sad as that is, cast members cannot do anything for you. So don't bother going in line to guest services or you know talking to a cast member, getting frustrated with them. They can't do anything. They're not gonna do anything. This is a hit or miss, luck of the draw situation. Unfortunately, people do get a little crazy about this boarding group. They tell their kids we're 100% going on Rise of the Resistance they can't get a boarding group and they're kind of miserable the rest of the day. They complain and I've seen it. Try not to do that. Let's, let's just, you know, honey, if we get the group, great. If not, we're still gonna have a fabulous time. Keep it positive and keep it upbeat. Go ride the Millennium Falcon instead. Go shop in um, Batuu, go eat at Docking Bay. Get your Star Wars on. But sadly, yes, if, if you don't get the boarding group, you're not riding Rise of the Resistance. And if you don't get the 10 o'clock, you can try for the two o'clock. There's still a chance. It's just a better chance at 10 a.m. I really hope these tips and tricks helped you guys out. I hope watching my little wherever side it's on video of Rise of the Resistance was kind of helpful as well. We absolutely loved the ride and yeah, can't wait to do it again and again. 
So again, I would really appreciate it if you guys like this video to please hit the subscribe button. If it's red, click it, turn it gray. Hit the bell if you wanna be notified for more upcoming videos. Please, please like this video if I helped you out. Comment, let me know what other videos you wanna see, other tips and tricks perhaps. And yeah, thanks for watching. Mahalo guys, Nina out.